Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 21st tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we're going to talk about the if statement in PHP and uh, the if statement is a selection construct and uh, it's used to make decisions in programming and it's one of the most important and used uh, programming constructs and it's important not just in PHP but in all programming languages and uh, you know, syntax of if in PHP is similar to the syntax uh, of if in most programming languages and uh, I have a file opened up in my text editor it's called if.php and uh, on line number 6 in this file I have the opening PHP tag on line number 17 I have the closing PHP tag and uh, I have some code in between so what we're going to do in this program is we're going to uh, have two variables and uh, both are going to be numeric variables and then we're, we're going to check whether the value of one is greater than the other or not and if that is the case then we're going to you know just display a message using echo on screen right so as you can see on line number seven I have created a variable and it's called X I've given it the value 20 on line number eight I have uh, created another variable this one's called Y and it has a value 5 so we know now that 20 is greater than 5 so you know we need to find out a way in which we can display this on screen that 20 is greater than 5 so we do this using the if statement and uh, you type in if and then within parentheses you type a condition that you want to test so in this case it's going to be whether dollar x whether the first variable is greater than dollar y the second variable you just type in that condition within parentheses and then you have to start what is called an if block and you start that by getting your uh, curly braces right so if you have just one statement like I have uh, just one statement between the opening and cur cur uh, closing curly braces on lines uh, 10 and 12 respectively I've got just one statement on line number 11 then you can do without the curly braces but I would suggest you guys to you know develop a habit of using curly braces even if you have just one statement because this gives your code uh, you know the right structure and it's kind of uh, easier to debug code you know again that's uh, how I think maybe you people uh, will find it more convenient to not use curly braces if you've got just one line but then uh, very rarely it will happen that you would uh, use the if statement and have just one statement uh, in the if block right so anyway you start your uh, uh, if block with the opening curly brace and uh, then you type in some code and only if this condition the test condition within parentheses evaluates to true this code will execute right if it evaluates to false then if is you know PHP is just going to skip uh, whatever code you have between the opening and closing curly braces and uh, to cover the other scenario I have another if statement on line number 13 and this one checks the reverse condition that is it checks whether the second variable is greater than the first variable or you know I have uh, written the condition in this way that dollar x is less than dollar y so here we are checking whether dollar x is greater than dollar y and if that's not the case then uh, you know we also need to check whether it is less than dollar y because that's not obvious right and uh, even if it is obvious we haven't checked out the else construct here so we would have to you know do it with if so anyway I digress uh, you type in if then the condition is within parentheses just the way we did here on line number nine and then the echo statement is uh, slightly different this time you know I have uh, dollar x is less than dollar y instead of uh, dollar x is greater than dollar y right I'll save this file and show you guys the output open my browser type in local host and then if dot php press the enter key and there we go we see 20 is greater than 5 and if I would change the values of these two variables let me make this 50 instead of uh, 20 I'll save the file and I press the enter key I see 20 is less than 50 right so both the cases are uh, covered now what will happen if uh, I give both the variables the same value so let me change this to 20 right I'll save the file and I'll refresh my browser to see that I don't get any message so this is because we haven't informed PHP about what it's supposed to do in case both the variables have the same value so you could have another if block here in which you could test whether the values are equal or not and the test condition for that would be if dollar x is equal to dollar y right and uh, if that would be the case then you know you can uh, uh, have an echo statement and display the appropriate message at uh, you know both the values are equal right so that's it for now I'll see you guys in the next video 
and uh, in the next tutorial we'll probably talk about uh, the if else uh, statement or just the else statement and i hope you guys had fun watching this video and uh, you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already we'll see you in the next video till then take care